I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today I am sharing a formulation for something I'm calling Super Simple Foaming Hand Wash. So this is an all natural formulation that requires very few ingredients, makes a gorgeous pH balanced hand wash, really easy to make. The ingredients that I've chosen, I think should be relatively easy to get almost no matter where in the world you live. And if you've never made a surfactant product before, this is an amazing place to start. This hand wash features two different surfactants for the foamy foamy goodness, cocomide propylbetine and coco glucoside. So a lot of the time when I share a surfactant formulation, if I get questions that are basically, can I use X surfactant instead of whatever you've used, it's the only thing that I can by where I live, I've really noticed that cocomidopropyl betaine or cocoa betaine, they're not the same thing, but uh, you can use either in this formulation. Um, and cocoa glucoside, those tend to be the ones that I hear very frequently from people who have uh, fairly limited ingredient availability. They can get those surfactants. So we are using those two surfactants in this formulation. Our next ingredient is vegetable glycerin, an inexpensive and readily available humectant. Uh, you can often get vegetable glycerin at you know, the drugstore or the pharmacy if you don't have a DIY like online supplier that you can order from. Our preservative is GeoGuard Ultra, which is a dry white powder. It is a natural EcoCert certified preservative. I've been having a lot of fun getting to know it better lately. It is actually, I believe, the very first preservative that I started working with and then I kind of moved on to Liquid Germal Plus and forgot about it and now we are having a bit of a renaissance and I'm very much enjoying working with it and I find that it works really beautifully, especially uh, in this formulation. And our last ingredient is distilled water and that's it. So the GeoGuard Ultra does have you know, a limited effective pH range, which can be a challenge with some of these more natural preservatives. If you're a newer maker and you don't necessarily know how to test and adjust pH, or maybe you don't have the equipment for it. But in my experience working with this formulation, the GeoGuard Ultra brings the pH to a great place for it to be. Uh, it's, it's awesome. It's just these like five ingredients will just work really nicely together to create something that is super accessible to beginners. Making this is very easy. It's really just kind of mixing everything together and then waiting for it to dissolve. If you would like to learn more about this formulation, including more about all of the ingredients, please go to humblebeeandme.com. There is a full partner blog post for this formulation that is linked in the description box below this video, or just search for the name of this formulation at humblebeeandme.com. But you can also look up all of the ingredients in the Humble Bee and Me encyclopedia to learn more about what they do, how they work, why we use them, uh, substitution suggestions, all kinds of great stuff. So yeah, please make sure you are reading the partner blog post and looking the ingredients up in the Humble Bee and Me encyclopedia. And if you're looking to learn even more about formulations, something else you might be interested in is the free training that Formula Botanica is currently offering. So I have a link to that in the description box below as well. I have two diplomas from Formula Botanica. I have their diploma in organic skincare formulation and their diploma in organic hair care formulation. I have reviews for both of those over at Humble Bee and Me com but I think they are great programs and it's a really great way to learn how to formulate your own natural skincare and hair care products so if you would like to try out some of their training for free I've got a link to that in the description box below but uh, yeah let's go make this lovely hand wash we're going to begin by combining the vegetable glycerin and our preservative, which is GeoGuard Ultra, in a beaker. And we're just going to whisk the two of them together to predisperse the powder into the glycerin. So we need 75 grams vegetable glycerin. And 3.75 grams GeoGuard Ultra. And whisk to combine. Up next, we're adding our surfactants. So you'll need 25 grams cocomidopropyl betaine and 37.5 grams of cocoglucoside. Give that a stir as well, since there's not much water in here, just the water that was present in the surfactants. We can still give this a fairly vigorous whisk without worrying about kicking up a bunch of bubbles. And then our last ingredient is distilled water, which will need 108.75 grams. I'm just going to gently pour this down the side of the beaker. A gentle 
cluster. So our next step is just leaving this to kind of dissolve and do its thing. So I'm going to cover it with a bit of cling film here. And then I'll just leave this for a few hours. Honestly, overnight is very easy, but you can kind of come back and give it a bit of a swirl and um, you know, pick it up and look through the bottom of the beaker and see if the preservative has dissolved. Now the preservative is not heat sensitive, so if you wanted to gently heat this in a water bath to speed this along, you could, uh, but I'm feeling kind of lazy, so I'm just gonna leave it and let time do its thing. So once everything has just dissolved on its own, you have a nice clear liquid, you can uncover the hand wash. You can see there, yeah, it's just a nice uniform, slightly, yellow tinged liquid. Yeah. So uh, the last thing we're gonna do is check the pH. And from my work on this, I know it's gonna be just fine, but just kind of walking you through this so you can see it happen. For more details, please read the blog post, but we're starting with a 10% dilution. So I weighed out two grams of product into this little dish, and now I'm gonna add 18 grams distilled water to make a 10% dilution. So I give that a whisk. And then I'm gonna grab my pH meter. So this is from Apera. If you would like to learn more about it, please look up pH meter in the Humble Bee and Me Encyclopedia. There's also a few links to some uh, really helpful articles about pH testing in that entry. Turn the meter on and then submerge the sensor in the diluted solution and wait for the uh, meter to give us a little happy face to show that it knows what's up. 4.63, and that is great. All right, and that's it for the making. So all that's left now is packaging this up. So this is a 250 milliliter uh, bottle with a foamer top from Yellow Bee. This was a gift. You do need something with a foamer top for this formulation. You can see here that if you put this in like a normal lotion pump, it's just gonna go bleh, kind of like some of those makeshift hand sanitizer pumps that we're all coming across these days where you just kind of end up with like a palm full of water thin liquid going everywhere. And for a bit of a demo, let's check out them bubbles. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> you can see it's this just really, really gorgeous, like meringue like lather. It's just absolutely lovely and yeah as you saw crazy crazy easy to make and all natural and there we go so we just made a really lovely super simple all natural foaming hand wash thank you so much for watching please subscribe and please remember to go down to the description box below and click through to the blog post where you'll find a ton of extra information information on substitutions scaling shelf life links to places to buy all the ingredients and a link to try out some free training from Formula Botanica so you can start to learn how to create formulations like this uh, all by yourself. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and hope to see you next time.